Talk to us, you know, before you got here, as far as putting more of an emphasis on three-point shooting. You know, tonight was the fifth time y'all had a game where y'all had 20 plus threes. Just take me through the emphasis on three-point shooting. Do you guys feel like you're a better three-point shooter than last year? Do you feel that way? Um, I think our focus was getting good threes. I think in the rhythm, um, when, you, when you're in rhythm, you're getting good shots, you, then you make them at a higher clip. I, don't, I think that uh, when there's movement and guys are cutting, driving the ball, kicking it out, getting easy ones, I think the percentages go up. Jim Lazarski. Hey, Dante. Um, I don't know. I, is it, I, I don't know if the matchups worked out, if it was coincidental or, or maybe an emphasis, but tonight I think uh, six shot attempts first quarter yesterday at four, it looked like, I don't know, is that just the way it, it turned out where, where you had some looks and, and and try to get going offensively a little bit? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm never out there just hunting shots. So you might see one quarter I have six, and one quarter I have zero. Um, I'm just trying to play within the flow of offense, just, but stay aggressive. I think when I'm aggressive, it, um, it gets everybody else energy up. They're being aggressive, and then we can go from there. You know, pretty much every uh, everybody we've talked to at some point in the last couple of weeks has, has said there's – the continuing adjustment of, of combinations and learning one another, playing one another in the offense. And I think last time we talked to you, um, I, I don't know if we got into that as much. How have you, where have you come along now just in these last, this week, 10 days, maybe in the last three games? Three, um, three days ago, yeah. Honestly, whatever lineup we throw out there, I feel like everybody's having a positive mindset out there, just moving the ball and running our offense. I think early on you could see guys kind of just trying to find a rhythm, trying to find um, their touch. I think right now we're doing a good job of just running our offense no matter who's in the game. Um, and when everybody's aggressive, it, we don't care who's taking shots. Um, I think that's a big thing. When everybody's touching the ball, we don't care who's taking shots. Eric Dave. Hey, Dante. I think it was like maybe two weeks ago, I was talking to Giannis about getting comfortable in the new offense. And he was trying to figure out where his passes were, where his breeds are. Just what have you seen from him? Because from the outside, it looks like he's kind of figured it out. Like he knows where those advantage situations are. He knows where to attack, when to attack, how to attack. Um, I think I think for him, one, he's the MVP the last two years. So he's going to figure that stuff out. Um, I think for him is big in my eyes is he needs to stay aggressive. I think when he's aggressive, um, it helps out all of us out. And not necessarily just aggressive to score the ball, but every time he gets into that paint, he's getting somebody a wide open layup or somebody a wide open three. Um, so like you said, he's figuring it out. He's finding guys in their spots that they like, but also um, I think he's doing a good job of mixing it up and attacking the rim and kind of getting downhill um, and not just letting the defense sit on his passes. The Pacers are kind of strange defensively in that they throw so many different looks at you. It's zone, it's half zone, it's trap, it's real high pressure. Just kind of how did you guys deal with that this this evening and just kind of what kind of challenge did that present? I mean, I was, I mean, I personally was thrown off at first. It was like first two or three possessions I looked up, I had a Sabonis or Turner on me. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just figured out, just, just keep the ball moving. I think when the ball's moving and people are moving, it doesn't matter who's guarding who because you have five guys on the court at all times that can attack the rim and also shoot the ball. So I think as long as we keep the ball moving, we're good. Zora Stevenson. You guys are about to head out on what will be the longest road trip of this first part of the season. So what do you need to take from this homestand kind of on the road with you to have success? Staying positive and staying together. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for us. Um, we have a bunch of guys in the locker room that love being with one another and love playing with one another. So when adversity hits, we got to tighten up and lock in um, because we know that we've seen us lose the back to back games. And we know that's not a good feeling. So when we stay together and everybody's staying positive and lighthearted, I think I think we are good at, at that point. What role do you feel like? I mean, after the game, I asked you what was the difference in this team this week and last week, and you kind of alluded to positivity once again. What role does mindset simply when you guys are trying to progress as a unit? I mean, it's huge. I mean, you look at the season, it's it's not an ordinary season. Um, I think with this year, I think the, clo the team that's the closest, the team that's mentally the strongest, um, you see when games, you look at the league, all across the league, there's a lot of blowouts. So um, I think for us, getting into a game and we go down 15, if we stay together, we can close that gap really quick. Um, 
we've done it before and and we're going to face adversity going through the rest of the season as well so we can we can do it again and we can close that gap i think as long as we stay positive and stay together um it doesn't matter how much we're down by or how much we're up because teams are going to do the same thing to us one more to steve mcgarvey we talked a number of times about wanting to stay positive, stay together. Do you feel these last couple of games, y'all are kind of, kind of at the top of your game in that regard? Is, that, is this the best y'all been in, in, in that kind of department these last couple of games? I mean, for us, we're still getting better every day. Um, and st- we're still working on that every day. So we're never satisfied. But I think when things are going in the right direction, when you, when you need to address the changes in terms of our mindset, in terms of like what I talked about being positive, and you see it going in the right direction, it, it it's a good feeling and you want to build off of that. So um, I don't think we're 100% there, but I don't think we're going to be 100% there until this, this playoffs happen. I think every day we're going to keep building and getting better and better. Thanks, Dante. Appreciate it.